I'm Lee Ellis, welcome to another episode of EuroLeague All Access. I'm at the Grand Bazaar here in Istanbul ahead of the huge EuroLeague game between FS and Fenerbahce. And there is so much more at stake than just local bragging rights. Let's go and check it out. I'm here at Saren Studios and I'm about to meet Didim Gursar, who is a presenter and broadcaster. And she's gonna tell me why this game is so important. Hello. Hi. Didim, what makes this game in particular so important for not just EuroLeague, but Turkish basketball? Right now, this game will decide one team goes up, one team goes down. So yeah, we have never had uh, this game played so late in the season and deciding the season. So it's extremely, extremely exciting this one. <laughs> <laughs> you seem a little bit nervous yourself even yeah. before this game. What, so why is it? Is it history? Is it just this season in particular? Is it because it's the two Istanbul rivals? The Turkish teams have been in the final four ever since 2015 and we have been in more comfortable seats before. We would be sure that, oh, they would be making to the playoffs more comfortably. But right now it hasn't been a season like that. This is the most competitive EuroLeague season. Like every game matters. It is so true. It is so true <laughs> that we have come at this point and you know, one of the teams will probably may not make it to the playoffs. I've been in, I don't know how many Derby uh, broadcasts, but this one in particular comes in more exciting thing even than the 2019 play, uh, semi-final matchup in the final four. FSM Fenerbahce, this is uh, kind of nerve-breaking for me. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that, Didem. You've uh, brought me up to speed with what I can expect uh, at the game. But right now, I'm off to the Orca to go to training. Uh, good luck with that and hoping for a very solid game. <laughs> Fair to say the season is on the line right now for FS. I mean, yeah. you got to win this one. Yeah, I mean, there's no other way to put it, really. Um, do or die game. If we lose, we have no chance. If we win, we, we keep our hopes alive. So uh, we got to give everything we have. It's a huge game. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's do or die. And <laughs> pretty much all you can break it down to. Do you, does, it, does it carry a little bit more weight, though, knowing that it's against Fenner? I mean, um, I mean, yeah, of course. Uh, obviously, we've had some history with this team over the years in the Final Fours and Turkish League Championships. And, um, you know, for the last couple of seasons, everybody would probably say that we've been the best team in Turkey. And uh, the, in the years prior to that, it had been them. So, um, you know, this is a, a chance for them to kind of put us out of our misery and kind of put the nail in the coffin for us. So they're going to come out and give everything they have. And, um, you know, it's a chance for us to continue to fight and show our character and go out there and continue to keep our hopes alive. So it'll be huge, it'll be a big game, great atmosphere. Both teams will fight with everything they have. These fans are gonna be crazy tomorrow and um, it's gonna be fun. You know, I was talking to a couple of the guys from FS and they were saying they haven't had a great season, obviously, and they're a couple of you know, two-time champs. This is a, such a huge game because it could reignite their season. Yeah. So do you feel that they're going to come in with a different type of attitude tomorrow night or do you feel it's just going to be the same level of intensity whenever these two teams? Uh, I, I think it's going to be a little bit different type of attitude, especially with, uh, you know, just there's a lot of pride on the line. We both need wins to get to the playoffs and we don't want to leave it in other teams' hands. So uh, all of us are probably just going to be uh, probably all of us are going to be ready for tomorrow. That's the one. 
that's it from training. It is going to be wild in here tomorrow night. I cannot wait. I'm at the dock and I'm just about to meet a Fenerbahce fan, Begum, and she's going to tell me just why this derby is so important to her and to the city of Istanbul. Here she is. Hello. This is my first time in Istanbul and I'm going to one of the biggest, most intense games of the, of the season. What can I expect in the arena? The atmosphere is going to be fire and this game stress is going to be higher level on any other game. It's important for Turkey, Istanbul, and it's important for Fener. It's way important for Fener. Maybe if you have sensitive ears, yeah. I would, you okay. know, suggest you to bring your okay. earcuffs. I'm very excited for the game. Yeah. I want to put you on the spot now and see if you can give me a prediction. I would like to say we win, <laughs> which we will. Right. But the score is like, it's probably going to be a tough game because both uh, teams are in like, in this tight spot, we need to give everything we have. And I know FS will also do the same, so it's going to be a tight game. It's a rivalry, but the most important thing is the respect for each yes. other. Yes, that's Begum. She thinks it's going to be a very close game. I tend to agree with her. Not sure who's going to win, but uh, Begum pretty confident here that FS, uh, that FS, that Fenner is going to win. Oh my God, she'll throw me over the edge here if I say that one. That. <laughs> we are on the ferry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you also. We have to do a handshake. Yes. Boom, Fenner fans. <laughs> the Grand Bazaar is a chaotic mess of sounds and sights and smells but I expect it's going to be nothing compared to the derby game between Fenerbahce and FS. Sorry, bud. <laughs> you have to move. Teams are here, the energy and the atmosphere is building. Let's go!
A pretty well balanced game right now. I think the home team is leading it rightfully so. Set up for a very, very interesting second half though. How much does this mean to you to get the win against such an important rival? Uh, it's less about the rival, more about our goals. You know, everyone's goal this year is playoffs, and um, we've had a tumultuous season. Started off, we looked like we couldn't be beat, then we looked like anyone in the world could beat us, and then now we're trying to find and crawl, scratch and sift our way to get into the playoffs. Uh, it's a long season, so we knew there'd be ups and downs. So we had, um, you know, the driver's seat in terms of being able to control our destiny. And I think we, um, and I think we know we took care of business and did our job, so hopefully that was enough. So that's it from Istanbul. What a fantastic game in an incredible city. This whole trip has been an awesome experience. Now I gotta get out of here before these kids bowl me over. I'll see you next time.